Welcome or welcome back on C-square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about solving system of equation of three variables using elimination. In this example, number 17, how I call it on the slide, we have three equation. So as you notice, I identify as one, two, and three, and uh, three variables. So um, how this elimination works, it, it pays a lot if you take a look on your problem. And if you notice on equation one and two, we have minus y and plus y. So that should tell you if you take these two equations and you add them, you can eliminate y. So let's see that. So you see these two equations, I uh, just uh, copy them and now I'm going to add them. And uh, you notice y is gone. <clears throat> um, we can do the same thing if we if you take a look on equation two and three and this two we can add and because again we see the positive y on number two and the negative y on number three so let's do that And again, we're going to add them and the y cancel out. So we end up with 3x plus 5z equals negative 1. Uh, and now let's, let's take these two equations, uh, this one and this one, and put them together. Have a system of two equations of two inequalities with two uh, variables, and again, uh, here we should use multiplication as a uh, method elimination by multiplication. I'm gonna eliminate, um, let's say, x, so therefore, I'm gonna multiply the first equation by negative 3 and the second one by positive 2. So, negative 3 here, positive 2. So we're going to end up with uh, negative 6x minus 12z equals 12, 6x plus 10z equal negative 2. The x's cancel out, and we have negative 2z equals 10, and which gives us z equals negative 5. <coughs> <coughs> now we can go and find the x. We go in the uh, first equation on this one, 2x <coughs> plus 4 times negative 5 
equals negative 4 we end up with 2x minus 20 equals negative 4 2x equals 16 which gives us x equals 8 and the last thing we need to find out will be y which we're going to go to the first equation <coughs> and we have x plus y I'm sorry x minus y in fact plus z equals 1 so we end up with 8 minus y plus negative 5 equals negative 1 and if we solve that we're going to get y equals 4 so the solution set for this system of equation is 8 4 and negative 5 And you always can go back and plug them in and check them if you are not sure. <coughs> go ahead and try this one. <coughs> Let me give you a piece of advice. Mark the equation first, like I do, one and two, one, two, and three. And then I think it's very important to look on uh, on uh, equation one and two. What's happening if you add them? What can you cancel out? And also on equation one and three, what's happened if you add them? So go ahead and try, pause the video clip, and I will see you back with the answer.
so this one is uh, another nice uh, system of equation where uh, some things are uh, work very nice if you add the first two equation one and two you see I end up with y minus z equals five then I add the one and three and I end up with something even better negative 5z equals 15 we give which uh, gives me right away z equals negative 3 uh, then i went back here in and plug it in which gives me y equals 2 and now again we have y and z you pick any of the equation i pick equation number one plug it in and that gives me x equals 0. so if you enjoy this uh, video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more uh, math video clips.